What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> Happy Tuesday. So I have an interesting topic for you. For those of you who are future entrepreneurs and people who actually have a job right now, I want you to think about, has this ever happened to you? How many of you have been called a dumbass, you're stupid, you're incapable of doing something? How many of you were chewed out by your boss in front of other people? And the question to you is, if that's happened to you, what do you think of your boss at the time that he did it? And what do you think of him now, currently now, about that incident? And for those of you who, who this has happened to, I guarantee you, you can remember it right now. I was watching a glimpse of the Monday Night Football game last night. And the Philadelphia Eagles coach was tearing into this guy. Boom! Not only was the guy humiliated in front of his other teammates, but this guy was on national television. So when the coach was tearing into him, right, he was tearing back at the coach. And all of the other players were standing around looking like, like they couldn't believe what was actually going on. But my question to you is this. How effective was that coach by yelling at that guy in front of all of his teammates. I can tell you right now, that player probably took the I don't care anymore attitude because no matter what I do and I try to get out there and do my best, it's not good enough for you. Because a lot of these guys were trying to, or trying to get a spot on the team, you know? And the whole thing about it is this. If you guys have employees and you see that employee doing something terrible, you cannot tell that employee in front of other people. You have to take that person to the side. You have to, especially if you're thinking of keeping that employee. And I was reading this, this powerful topic about in, in the Entree Leadership book with Dave Ramsey, how he talks about how he did the same thing to one of his coworkers, I mean, one of his uh, employees, and he immediately came back and apologized because he, he totally went off on this lady in front of her team, and he came back and apologized, but still the damage is done. Because, and you guys know better than I do, you guys are actually working. Employees wanting to be accepted, appreciated. They want to know that their work is va is valuable to the um, their employer. If not, if they don't feel that they have any value whatsoever in the company, a lot of times they don't really try. It's you you have to create an environment where you're not putting someone down all the time. Even when we look in our life, it's easy for us to find the mistakes in people versus the things that they're great at. A lot of times we don't even speak until we know they have done something wrong. And some of us get a pleasure in putting the other person down. Oh, 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 made a mistake. Oh, oh. hey, look at dumb guy over here. Hey, look at the dumb chick. Look what she did. Uh, duh. Every time I hear this type of speech, I cringe. Because what it does is it, it creates an environment where people are afraid to try. The workforce today are people who are afraid to implement new ideas because what if they fail and then the boss comes out of nowhere and chews them out? Some of you right now have bosses that will tear you a new one if you did something wrong. And you are terrified to death of that boss because he chewed you out, he cursed you out, he humiliates you, but yet and still, you have to go to that job every day. You try your best and you try to work up all you can inside to leave one day. But you have, you tell yourself you have no other options. So I just think that this is one rule that you have to understand. 
if you want to keep a good employee, do not, do not reprimand this person in front of other other team team members. Take that person to the side and don't immediately go into what they did wrong. Tell them what they have done right. First, tell them more of what they have done right versus what they've done wrong. And when you tell the person, tell the person as if someone was telling you of how you want someone to tell you. If you don't want someone to call you a dumb person, if you don't want somebody to put you down, don't do that to the other person. That will create a disease in your organization. So I just thought I would share that. Please share your stories. If, if this is the person that you are, if you have that boss or you may be in charge of a company and you've done, you've had this mistake, let us hear about it. This is the time to vent and get it off your chest. So with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching the channel. Please subscribe. And until next time, signing off.